What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the top three comfort mods, in my opinion, that will make your riding experience that much more enjoyable for you and uh, say a fellow rider that you have riding with you. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first mod on my list here is uh, definitely lower doors, lower door panels. I know on the Turbo S, and this is the XRC, um, X3, XRC, they come right from factory with the lower doors. So your machine may have it, but if you don't have it, this is definitely something to look into. I've had lower doors on all three of the machines that I've had in the past. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people do put them on aftermarket um, or after they buy it for you. It might not be an aftermarket product, but the, your machine might have it on there if you bought it used. They definitely help out. And the big thing is, is like we're, we're getting into these machines that have 72 inch track width on it, big 32 inch tires. And if you don't have this lower door panel on it and you're doing a lot of like road riding where it's flinging dirt up and dust, you can definitely notice it when you're in the corners and you're turning because it'll let all that um, dirt and debris come right through that panel, right inside to the Cab and usually right inside your eyeballs. Um, I do, as you can see, I have the wider fender flares on it. If you guys don't have them um, and you don't have the lower doors, you probably know what I'm talking about. Like I said, every machine that I've had definitely had the lower door panels on it, but I have rode with buddies that didn't have them on their machines, and you can definitely tell when you don't have goggles on, um, riding dirt roads, flinging that loose, you know, particles, sand particles, dirt up, um, and then dust. Like, say, even if you do have a windshield and a roof and whatnot, um, definitely let some dust in through the lower doors. So the second thing that uh, I would recommend if you're getting a side-by-side -side and you don't have any accessories with it um, that will make your riding experience a little bit more enjoyable is definitely a roof. So this is, like I said, the XRC, so it comes with the aluminum roof um, from Can-Am. I know like the Turbo S also comes with a metal roof, um, but they do make a bunch of aftermarket ones. They have a bunch of factory ones you can get as well. Um, plastic ones, metal, it's all about what style you want and uh, price point you wanna be in. Mine came with it, it has these quick disconnects, which I love. You just literally take, lift up this little loop, spin it, the whole thing can pop right off. There's four of them in each corner. Definitely nice having a roof for uh, them days. It cuts down on dust, dirt, if you're in mud or anything, depending on where you're riding at, it won't be flinging mud up off the tires directly inside the cabin there. Um, and then if you do long rides, like say you're going out a couple hundred miles, you're not just ripping a track, the roof is nice in case you get caught in some rain. We're here in central Michigan and we rode up to St. Helen one day, no rain in the forecast, got up there, um, and then a crazy severe thunderstorm came in and uh, we got soaked, but it was nice having the roof and then uh, kind of keeps you a little bit dry. They do make, uh, like I mentioned, a pile of different roofs. They got the audio roofs that have the speakers built in. Um, some people love them, some people don't. If you're doing a lot of riding, you happen to roll it, usually if you have an audio roof, that audio stuff tends to get messed up. Um, but yeah, there's a pile of different roofs. This is the second thing I'd recommend getting with uh, the lower doors, just to cut down dust, debris, and stuff in your eyes. And uh, you guys can probably already guess what the third thing's gonna be on my list. And uh, if you said windshield, you're definitely right. Like the uh, roofs, there's a pile of different windshields. You can get plexiglass, you can get hardened, not hardened. Um, you can get DOT glass, which this is what uh, I have here. This windshield is the bent metal off-road windshield, which you can see the tag down here. Um, and it has the vents. The big thing about the Can-Ams is they do hold a lot of heat in, so it's nice having the window vents. You can open them up, let some of that airflow pass through. And then this one does, if you notice, has the powered wiper, which I have wired up. If you guys wanna watch the video of me installing the powered wiper, um, I will have a card posted up in the corner um, and then link to that video down below in the description if you wanna check that out. But yeah, so a couple things to keep in mind. This is a metal frame one, DOT, like I said, has the vents. Um, DOT glass with the wiper. If you get one that's hardened plexiglass, even though it's hardened and it says it's scratch resistant, if you have just one of them little hand wipers, you get some mud or something up underneath the wiper blade and you have that thing on, after time it's gonna scratch it up. I don't care what anyone says unless it's one of these DOT glass ones. But the thing is, is if you're riding a lot of uh, gravel trails, dirt roads and stuff, and you're riding with buddies, you gotta keep in mind, you don't wanna get too close because if they fling a rock up, these things aren't cheap to replace. But yeah, they, they make a pile of different uh, windshields for the side-by-sides, pretty much all makes some models. Like I said, you can get hardened, you get non-hardened, plexiglass, um, and then uh, they got the glass ones. Um, I don't know why you would get a not-hardened one, <laughs> because it's pretty much going to get scratched up. Uh, it just 
a matter of time. But they do make a couple different styles. This is the full windshield. As you can see, I'm fully enclosed with my upper doors and uh, my back window, which we're going to go into because I'm going to combine this front windshield and back window. But they do make the half windows. If you guys aren't riding a lot of like uh, super like gravel, rain, wet, um, here in Michigan, we get to see all four seasons in one day usually. So uh, it's nice having the full windshield on your machine. But if you just got a half one, um, it'll definitely cut down on debris, stuff getting flung right at you, buddies flinging mud up. It'll help cut down on that. And then, like I said, I was going to combine the back window with the front windshield because if you get the back one, it'll cut down on a lot of that drag. Um, if you're riding real dusty areas, trails and dirt roads and stuff like that, you're probably, probably familiar with dust getting drug right into the cabin. You're always wearing your goggles. Um, the back window, even if you don't do a front one, having the one in the back instead of having the drag or the dust coming straight into you or if you just have the front windshield, the drag will come right through the side windows or through the back. Once you get the back window, it cuts down on a lot of that. Um, so yeah, I would recommend number one mod, make everything a little bit more enjoyable is front and rear windows. Whether you go DOT glass, you go half windows, um, whatever you do, it's definitely gonna make your riding experience just that much better. <laughs> These are the top three mods, in my opinion, that makes your riding experience a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, I actually had, before my machine showed up, the front windshield, the wiper kit, the back window, and then mine obviously came with the roof because it's the XRC, before my machine even showed up at the dealership. So from past experiences with my razors and whatnot, I knew that this is something that I wanted to put on mine, so I just went ahead and knocked it out right off the rip. But if you guys enjoyed this video, um, it'd mean a lot to me. It really helps the channel out if you leave a thumbs up. And if I missed anything and you guys have something in mind that you think should be in the top three, definitely drop it down below. Um, let me know what your top three mods are, your favorite mod, and there might be something that I overlooked. But yeah, until next time, guys, I'm out.